Perfect. All right. And uh, this is the moment where we uh, head over to the phone line and we talk to our brother, uh, brothers from the Israelite United in Christ. And uh, we talk about Bible. We have six minutes to wrap this up. Gentlemen, are you there? Who is there with, with us this morning? Hey, hey, how you doing? This is Captain Sazawan. How you watching? Sazawan, how are you, my brother? <laughs> I'm okay. Amen, man. Good to hear your voice. Uh, always a pleasure to have uh, you guys on. What is uh, our topic this morning? What, what's uh, what's our uh, program this morning with you guys? Yeah, we wanted to get into the situation that happened in the Bahamas. So okay. we can give our, spirit, our people some spiritual foundation and spiritual understanding as far as why that happened. Yes. All right. We want to make sure we bring all things into the to the understanding of the Lord and His Word. And um, the Word so that of we the can Bible. Seek some type of comfort, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, the first thing is, is um, if, did you have anything to say? No, man, go right ahead. Uh, we've been talking about uh, the same thing. We've been talking about the Bahamas and the people and what goes on from morning. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started with what you have. Okay, I'll praise it. Yeah, so let's we'll get it started. Let's go to um, Hosea chapter 15, verse 4 real quick. 15 verse, um, Hosea chapter 15 five. verse 4 Hosea chapter 5 verse 15 Excuse 5 me. verse 15 Okay So a lot of our brothers and sisters um, We always ask questions as to why things happen upon the earth One of the things in particular what we're talking about is the hurricane mm. That hit the um, Bahamas mm. Right? Yes You had uh, uh, Acabo You had Freeport And you had and you, and you had, um, what was it, uh, a little bit of Nassau, Bahamas, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, just to give our people some spiritual understanding, this is the Lord, we have to understand that the Lord ordains everything that happens upon the planet. All right, read this first, come on. The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15, I will go and return to my place, and I acknowledge their offense, and seek my faith, and their affliction, they will seek me early. And a lot of cases, and you saw a lot of footage from those, um, from uh, from the hurricane. Have you seen a lot of the footage? Um, absolutely, Lord? absolutely, yes. And you saw, one of the main things I saw was there was a woman and her child in the bathroom praying unto the Lord, God of Israel, praying unto the Lord, acknowledging that, like she was, she was in her prayer. She was acknowledging the offenses that she made in her, in her um, errors and her ways. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of the tempest of the hurricane. Right. A lot of people don't understand is that we always tend to turn to the Lord when things happen to us, and we don't understand why things happen to us. But that's the mentality that we have all the time when things happen to us. We always go back to who we we start praying. And start turning back unto the Lord. Right. So let me show you this. Isaiah chapter thirty chapter twenty nine verse sixteen. Now you have to look. Of all places up on the earth, and I'm not I don't want to get too scientific as far as um as far as uh why hurricanes happen or whatnot, but we're just gonna deal with the matter that it is. The hurricane hit where our people are at. You understand? Yes. So you have to understand the people that are there. Who is God trying to get their attention? Hmm. It's the people, the so-called uh, Bahamian people, which would be this uh, tribe of Benjamin in particular. All right? So now let's read this real quick. Read that verse. Come on. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts. So a lot of people like this, they, they need a sign from the Lord. They want signs. They want to see the Lord. But we don't understand that. We've been, been, we've been getting visited from the Lord for many a years. And this is how, in these ways, according to the Bible. Read it from the top again. Come on. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts. In what way shall we be visited of the Lord of hosts? That's talking about the Most High God. Read on. With thunder. With what? With thunder. So we have that. Thunders come down, issued of the Lord God of Israel. Read on. And with earthquake. And with what? Earthquake. And that happens throughout the world. When earthquakes come, it's because the Lord ordained it. Read. In great noise. In great noise. Read on. With storm. With what? With storm. And that's what that hurricane, what was it called again? Um, um, Dorian. Dor 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 hurricane Dorian it is. The scriptures describe that the Lord will visit the earth with thunder, earthquake, storm. Read on. In tempest. And what? In tempest. Come on. And the flaming, and the flame of devouring fowl. So you see a lot of times going down to Central South America, you have how the Amazon is being burnt up in the forces. Mm -hmm. All that stuff is issued by the Lord God of Israel. So now the purpose of that is so that what we read in Hosea. Hosea chapter 5, verse 15, is that what happens is the Lord is trying to draw your attention to the Most High God and His prophets, which is what we saw in particular 
Read, read one more verse for me real quick. Uh, let's go to Proverbs chapter 1 and get to the point, verse 23. So what we saw, um, we were in Chicago, right? Yes, yes. Chicago, Illinois. And um, we had uh, over about a thousand men. We were marching. That's what your, for the purpose this was your annual march, correct? Yes, this was. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. It was our annual march. We actually, we have a conference every year to do some type, you know, we do some follow-up with the men. Make sure that the Lord's work is being handled. Right. And we, we, we take criticism one from another that we, we can do better. As men, all right? Not only doing the work for the Lord, but in our personal lives as well, because that's what we need. We need guides. We need, this is what I'm saying, real examples on how to be men upon this earth, and that's what we show. Right. So I'm going to read this verse to uh, glean off of the... We need to acknowledge that God is trying to show us a sign. We just have to seek his face in our affliction. Read this verse real quick. Come on. The book of Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. And that's what the Lord wants. Remember what it said before, it says, in your affliction, you're going to seek me early, but that affliction has to come. Mm. One of those afflictions that happened to our people with the Hurricane Dorian in the Bahamas, all right? And now we have brothers and sisters of our body, of our congregation in those areas right now, and they're safe and sound. Mm. Now it's our duty to go out and help those that may need, that don't have. Absolutely. And that's what we're doing. That's Absolutely. what we're doing right now in those locations. Any Absolutely. aid towards our people, because those are our people that's mainly being affected, so we help them. Read on where you at. Come on. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 23. Right. Turn you at my report. And that's what the Lord wants from us. Read. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. So how will the Lord pour out his spirit? We read about that. His spirit was described in earthquake, tempest, such and such. Read on. I will make known my word unto you. Because the Lord spoke it. I'm going to I'm gonna visit I'm going to visit you in this fashion. And that's how he's spoken his words unto us. He's going to make his, his word known unto us. Read on. Because I have called, and ye refused. Right. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. Read on. But ye have said at not all my counsel, mm -hmm. and with none of my reproof. Right. I will also laugh at your calamity. Mm -hmm. I will mock when your fear is coming. So God's form of laughing at us is he'll send that tempest down to us. Yes. So Gen that we can acknowledge our ways. Yeah. Gentlemen, and we're going to just pause for a minute. We're going to take care of business. We'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with you guys uh, just uh, to wrap up. Uh, we, you're in tune to Caribbean Rhythms Radio Network. Uh, you're, of course, uh, this is the Caribbean Rhythms Radio Get Network. Up in the morning. Uh, broadcast every Saturday from uh, 10 until 2. Uh, currently, we are talking to uh, our brothers uh, from uh, Israelites uh, United in Christ. Uh, let's wrap up this segment, guys. Go ahead. No problem. And the gist of everything is so that you can acknowledge God and turn back to your true ways. Now, you need examples of that, and that's what was shown in Chicago, 2019 men's conference that we had in here in IUIC, Israel United in Christ. We are men living the marches by our example. Now, we showed the march. Let me show you what the scripture says. Read on. Come on. Mm -hmm. The book of Judah, chapter 8 and verse 24. Now, therefore, O brethren, let us show an example to our brethren. And that's what we do. We show an example. Because unlike the marches that were shown in the past, they serve the purpose for us to have certain liberties now. Right. But we're doing the marches now and actually living up to what the marches the are supposed to represent. All about. Yeah, amen to that. Exactly. So we're actually living the lives of, you hear us chanting it, taking care of our wives, taking care of our families, off drugs, out of the clubs. Why? Because we are the prophets, the Israelites, of the Most High God. And we're showing that example. Read on where you at. It's the last verse. Come on. Because their heart depend upon us. Listen, our people need us. And when they see us marching on the streets, we give them a sense of hope out here. All right? That men that look just like them are actually doing the right thing, loving and caring for our communities. We give our people a sense of hope because we are the hope. All right? We're here for them. Read on. In the sanctuary, in the house, and the altar rests upon us. Right. And what what we have the ultimate responsibility of building up and raising up the 12 tribes of Israel, not only with our word, but with our example. And that's what we're about. And so many words and explanations and examples. That's what we show when we do that march. It's not for vanity. It's not for vainglory or anything like that. We're showing our people that, listen, we are better than what this world deems us to be. All Absolutely, right. and it's four minutes after 12 o'clock. We want to thank our brothers from uh, Israel uh, United in Christ. My brother, thank you guys so much for your words uh, from the Bible uh, today. All right.
to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's our man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.